Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumed channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Demitech model DT DX95XS, which is an extra small. These are made in the US. We purchased these from the manufacturer's website. These are the Kits Extra Small Fold Style Ear Loop Mask. They come in a box of 20 for $39.99. They also have a 5 out of 5 rating with 105 reviews. I do want to point out that these masks do not follow any specific standard. Similar to the Lutema M95, Demetech refers to these as DX95, but they do have some claims on their box. They do state that the filtration of these masks are 95% or greater with a pressure drop of 25 millimeters of water or less. So let's go ahead and take a look at these masks. So these are actually very similar to a mask that we recently reviewed, the Armbrust Kits K95. They are very similar in terms of design and the construction quality is also very similar. Although Armbrust masks do claim to be K95 and like I said, these do not have any specific standard. They're not the softest material from the outside. From the inside, it's very standard and it does also have a nose foam. So let's go ahead and try them on. They're actually very similar in sizing as well. So I know that the Armbrust ones didn't quite fit my face and obviously it's because they are a kid's face mask so this is about the same fit as well i have a little gap here because of the sizing the nose wire is not too bad the ear loop bands are like a yarn like texture they're not really my favorite but they're pretty soft and i think this mask is making my ears go to the front a little bit but like i said it's also because of the sizing so i am getting a little bit of collapse but we're gonna see how these tests on our tsi machine we're gonna be testing both the filtration efficiency and the pressure drop this is our tsi machine model 8130a which is also the same filtration testing machine that niosh uses to approve n95 respirators our procedure is inspired by niosh we first run a tester setup and start removing the ear loop bands from the mask before placing it onto a testing plate to ensure a proper seal then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate when applying the hot milk glue we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results the testing plate is an attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on a TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 99.71% with a pressure drop of 31.1. The second sample had a filtration percentage of 99.79 and a pressure drop of 25.8 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration percentage was 99.53% and had a pressure drop of 31.3 millimeters of water. Looking back at these test results, they actually tested very well in terms of filtration efficiency. They did meet the claim that they made on the box. However, they also claimed to be testing 25 millimeters of water in, in pressure drop. And all the samples that we tested tested higher than that. I think the highest one tested at 31.3 millimeters of water. So. They not only did not meet the K95 requirements, but they aren't meeting the claims that they made on the box. Overall, this is not a mask that we can recommend. Due to the high pressure drop, there's definitely more breathable and affordable kits mask in the market. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what mask we should test next or just any other content that you would like to see in our channel in the comment section below. We also have a lot of important information in the description box like our website, which is acumed.com and our master testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in our next video.